It's like it's actually flying around. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Table Flipping uh, Board Games. Tonight, we played uh, Fury of Dracula, and uh, Dracula may or may not have wrecked us. Well, <laughs> Laura's going to tell you, probably me. Um, anyway, it was a really fun game. This is a uh, another one in our series of one versus many games. And uh, Game Face, you want to just give us a quick recap of Fury of Dracula? Uh, yeah, so one player, the one person in this in this case is Dracula, and he is trying to move around secretly on the board, planting vampires in secret locations and traps. And you can kind of play it how – there's lots of different ways to play it, which is interesting because on one hand, you could at some point try to ambush the players, which I was actually planning on attacking Nina um, because at one point she was in Hamburg, and I was planning on landing right on top of her. And then everybody else was kind of on the other side of the map. But then she moved really quickly out of there. So I just um, – you guys actually knew everywhere I went. I started in Spain and moved up through into uh, Bordeaux and then went to sea and then went to the island, went, mm -hmm. went to England. And then I – yeah, and then I, you caught me there or you found me there. <clears throat> when I, I find I, – I was so tense there because I, I realized that I did not have the English channel. It was still in the trail. So I had to wait for that to drop off. So I actually had to go to the – Irish Sea, uh, and move over to. How did you get to the Irish Sea? Or no, no, I I had to move to Plymouth. I was going to go right okay. from London to the English Channel. All right, that's instead what I, I had to go. Yeah, I had to go to Plymouth for one turn so that the English Channel would drop off. Then I went to the English Channel, and then I proceeded to go to the North Atlantic, and then I went to the North Sea. So oh, I just oh, you did circled. do that. Yeah. All right. The thing that I said. <laughs> the thing that I said. So so hold on. So you went from here to the North Atlantic, and then uh -huh. I'm assuming you went. So you went English Channel, and then North Sea, and you went Edinburgh, Manchester. No, I went English Channel, North Atlantic, North Sea. No, no, I mean like the the full route. So oh, like right. coming from down here, you went North Atlantic, English Channel, uh -huh. North Sea, Edinburgh, Manchester, and then yeah. London, yeah. down to Plymouth, back to English Channel, back to North Atlantic. Yeah. Back to North Sea. And then this was your path for the rest Amber, of it. Yep. Ah, so that's how you threw us off. See, okay. What I thought you did. Huh. Thought you left Plymouth, English Channel, North Atlantic, South Atlantic. Yeah. I was hoping that like, if I could stay and see you for a little while, that I would make you think that I went down to the Mediterranean. Wiley. Ah, man. That was <laughs> tense because I knew if anybody caught me in Hamburg, I there I was pretty low. I was forever cool. gonna tilt me, Carl. <laughs> there she's going. Now she's just she's just sideways. <laughs> uh, I knew you were in Hamburg. I knew you were on the stupid island. You are getting demoted. You're no longer a detective. You're a getting demoted. Uh, I did. I did. I was planning on going back to the island if everybody crowded back into Hamburg. So it could have been the island, but. See, everybody seemed like they were kind of abandoning. See, it. he says in defense <laughs> meekly after. It could have been. Dracula been. is now going on to like enslave the entire world of vampires. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I don't know. I'm on. I'm on vacation in Spain, so. <laughs> I'm going He's back, going to, back to, to Sandberg. I'm going back yeah. to Dublin. I'm going, yeah, <laughs> I'm going back to Santander. Yeah, you go back to Dublin. I'm going back to Santander. <laughs> I'm taking the lovely doctor with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yep, Mina, Mina can come here. So, uh, so this was a much different game from the one that we played last week. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who may or may not have tuned in last week, uh, we played Letters from Whitechapel, which we have played after Scotland Yard, but was actually pretty similar, I think, to Scotland Yard and how it and how it worked. There was a couple couple of differences, but that one was um, Jack the Ripper. We're trying mm -hmm. to trying to hunt down Jack the Ripper, right. and. Uh, I think that's kind of where the similarities ended, right? Because that's pretty much it. Because like, there's so much more stuff to do on this one. Yeah, there was like tons in that one. There was almost we didn't even use any of these like, markers, character. like the heavenly hosts and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I just want wanted... oh, this one. Just... This one was like a, a much more in-depth board game, whereas those mm -hmm. ones were kind of more like. I mean, I don't want to call them just like party games, but it was more like a. I don't know, casual, like, like component is for sure. Yeah, it's very it was very like systemic versus this is very like you know rules driven and very complicated yeah um there's a lot of components to this there's like the day night cycle there's the uh this <laughs> angry face of despair over here <laughs> there's Rumors. uh yeah yep there's there's all of these like look there's this location track and the location track stuff drops off of 
which yeah. it didn't in um, Letters from Whitechapel, right? Right, right. No, it yeah, stayed so... there. It made it a lot easier to track mm -hmm. something. We had so if we ever just marks. kind of wandered across it, yeah. Yeah, even if I hadn't been there for like 20 turns, you'd still find the trail. Right. Whereas this yeah. one, yeah, this one has a very mm -hmm. short trail, a lot shorter trail. And the logic is very different too, because like you guys were using Mina really well, but I realized that if I could move across France really quickly, mm -hmm. then I could maybe get you guys to thinking that um, try, you know, completely mystified because you were moving in the direction that I was, but I wasn't currently there. And unfortunately, I ended up having to sidetrack to Bordeaux, Bordeaux because you guys realized that oh, I could. we were in here. Yeah. yeah. That's so right. and you and you also realize that I could backtrack at that point. So then I figured, oh, I better get out of here. So, <laughs> but yeah. there's yeah, there's definitely a lot more to do for Dracula too. I mean, I've got power cards. I can uh, I can place traps. You really for mess us up. Vampires. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing is like in um in both Scotland Yard and Letters from Whitechapel, you as the detectives, you are basically invulnerable, right? Yeah, you yeah. you kind of you just wandered around and you if you came across clues that was great and then you had to kind of use your logic and your movement and everything in order to just kind of track the person down. But in this, it was much more, it was much more I, I want to say two sided, like you know mm -hmm. two directional, where yeah. we're hunting you, but you're also kind of countering us with all this stuff that you can drop. And not only do we have to we have to find your trail, we have to work to clear your trail because things that make it to the end um oh. will really mess us up those those vampire <laughs> yeah. layers or whatever if I yeah and i got really lucky i got two right at the beginning mm -hmm. which is pretty lucky just gonna throw what were you gonna say table. laura i was gonna, if i trusted my original instinct of just keeping yellow and green together at the castle i guess then he wouldn't have taken damage and he could have just ran around this he game could've... yeah this game gave my head a spin Yep. I'm no longer yeah, the greatest too. detective in the world. Uh, hmm, it's all it's, your fault. I, I think this game is a lot harder for the hunters. Um, yeah, this game kind of changes it. I feel I feel very challenged by this, especially because so one thing I I kind of wasn't clear on um, mechanically is how and when to use items and searching and stuff because it felt like unless we are fighting something, the items really didn't do anything for us at all. Yeah. And, yeah. And what's weird is is you guys weren't drawing any allies. There are, there are cards that help you outside of combat and their ally cards are like a like oh, a powerful. Really? Yeah, they're like a constant effect card, huh. which is kind of crazy. Let me search this and see if I can find some. Let's see. Oh, that's public search. Hang on. I don't know how to make Wait, there we go. Stop. Sorry, I'm just being a brat and throwing stuff off the table. <laughs> Trying to find a, an ally that Steak, garlic reef seems reasonable lots of combat cars it looks like yeah yeah oh man that holy circle is awesome heavenly host i had one of those i wish i had had one of those oh maybe they're event cars that are allies yeah they must be huh we got really lucky with the events too yeah i don't yeah. i don't I never had an event i never had an event dracula can also get allies oh Huh. Yeah, I was so scared of using these because I was I was didn't know what they would give to you. Yeah, I saw something. I saw a vampire. Oh, there's an ally, there. Great Wolf. Where? So this is an ally for Dracula. Oh, okay. Whoa, where's everything going? <laughs> everything's everything's being dragged. Oh, oh, Laura's dragging them. Oh, and now she put them all back. So here's sorry. a um, here's yeah. Not, here's okay, you got it. That's ally. fine. There we go. Got it. Nailed it. Okay. Play immediately to pounce or as an ally. Okay, so as an ally, at the start of each Dracula phase, choose a hunter. Hunter suffers a damage unless reveals a crucifix or heavenly host. Oh, that's so that's like a persistent effect. Yeah. Huh. Let's put so, it yeah, on. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you invite me to play these games because I can. I'm a You're moving the moon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you could move the moon. <laughs> Oh, I'll give you the so, moon. Uh, here's it orbiting. Woo. <laughs> keep, keep talking. So as, as far as these, um, uh, as far as the tracking goes, like I felt like the items didn't really help us a lot with the tracking and Lord, the Lord felt really strong. I don't know, Laura, how you felt that 
like the Lord was just super different. Lord Goldeming or mm-hmm. Godoming, Godoming. Yeah, he <laughs> he literally right. gets whatever he wants. Like, yeah, I can just go and do anything anywhere, anytime. Like, I think yeah. the object would probably be to gather everyone around him, I guess, and then distribute items that he collects quickly. Oh, I don't you know. You know what? I bet that's right. I bet if he, you know, buys a lot of train tickets, then he can just yeah. give them to everybody. And then yeah, because you can trade, right? Yeah, right? So, and there's yeah, no right. limit on trading. So you just get all the train tickets. Okay, everybody, here's your train tickets, and let's get them on the island that we should have <laughs> gone to. <laughs> I don't know. They hadn't sure. built the they hadn't built the channel yet, so there's no trains to the island. I think I think we would have had to had to take a boat. Just saying. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's interesting too the idea that almost everything Dracula does, whether it's powers or um, like I can do things like I could have drawn more encounter cards, but I would have had everything he does is powered by his his damage, which is mm-hmm. also the way that he's uh, loses the game. So it's. It's very so, tense trying to decide how much to push that. So how does your how does your stuff work? Like, do you pay for each of these in- encounter cards that you're putting out? No, using, I get to. So I always have five encounter cards to choose every time I move to a location. Okay. And I can always place one on top of a card. On top of a okay. location. Okay. So and you just draw new ones of these? Is that the deal? Yeah. Yeah. And some of them are uh, obstacles like fog. Uh, some of them are okay, damage. Yeah. Yeah. Auto damage like wolves. Um, there's things that give you damage and then also delay, but then it depends on if you uh, ha- have a weapon card. So actually, the the items can help guard you against um, obstacles too. Yeah, Encounter- there was one that like uh, I think it was dogs. If I played it mm-hmm. before searching, then it would prevent. Oh, I think it was rats and a couple other cards. Yeah, I had rats cards. as well. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's really nice. Um, so I guess that's the other way that event or item cards could help. But for some reason, I was drawing strange encounter cards, like the same ones, like the spy and things that weren't really damaging to you guys. So it was no problem for you just to take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we seem to be getting kind of a weird uh, kind of disharmony between your item cards and what you could potentially use them for and what I was getting for encounter cards. Yeah. It was still it was still really interesting though. Like I liked the mechanic that you weren't just being chased the whole time because of how yeah. it makes you feel, right? Like yeah. you're both you're both kind of being devious through your movements, but also through the stuff kind of stuff that you're leaving behind for us. So I thought yeah. that was really neat. Yeah, I like that element too. And the and it has a really good thematic, you know, you've got this sense of danger mm-hmm. building um and, and power growing, but yet I'm still not sure the um, the addition of the thing at the end where Dracula puts three despair tokens every time he moves. Um, that seems really strong. Yeah, that's an that's actually something brand new for this new edition. And I almost wonder if maybe because people complain about the game being really long. That's, that's a way probably of like, what it is. It's like, look, yeah. the game's just over, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but some of those vampires are fair. so we powerful. Played this game for how long? It's. It was probably it was three and a half hours. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's at that point it probably is like we're just because yeah, you could just around. literally at that point just be like deking around forever. Like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Um, so thematically, uh, Laura, I know if I remember correctly from last time, you really like the uh, like gothic style and I really do and that sort of stuff, right? So uh, what did you what did you think about like the art and the kind of you know, uh, well, I, know, I really this game. I really like uh, the despair thing as well like the name despair is awesome Mm -hmm. um it's just a good overall theme (laughs) red black dark deadly i mean i don't like the fact that they kind of shy away from saying things are getting killed like actually killed oh yeah they kind of do don't they yeah they don't really like actually hadn't noticed that but you're right so they could be a little bit more firm with the i'm killing the crap out of you you're dead but other than that like i like how the vampire stays true to typical vampire stories like the running water the garlic Mm -hmm. and stuff like that that's Mm -hmm. all appeals to me as because i used to play vampire the masquerade role-playing game true story yes is this is this the original art from uh, a previous version or is this all redone for this version do you know no i think it's all redone yeah. Okay. So the it art does... is definitely a lot better, I think. Yeah, it does. It does look a little more modern, but it has like kind of that. I don't know. It kind of has an old style to it. It does mm-hmm. have an old style to it. I like the texture on the actual like map itself. Oh too. yeah. 
-hmm. Yeah, I really like, like how a, they did that. That's a huge feature. It's almost like it's coming out. I love the the writing. The art is really well done. Mm -hmm. The cards themselves are really easy to understand too. Yeah. Like the turn order is very clear. I for like how it. complex, yeah, for how complex of a game this is, I, that's something that uh, does really stand out to me too. Is how clear each of the cards was like in the one yeah. the one combat action that we actually got to do <laughs> yeah. it was like yeah. oh yeah i see i see what this stuff is this kind of makes sense yeah, yeah. and so. it's cool that it makes sense that like you played i was trying to hypnotize you and you were able to use a holy effect mm -hmm. to cancel, to cancel the hypnosis which that is was really cool. cool yeah that yeah. was really neat so um so since we are on the misclicks channel uh how do you guys i think there was only i guess no, there was only one female. woman character represented in this, right? Just Mina? Because mm -hmm. I don't think, unless there are any allies which we didn't come across, she's the only one. Yeah. So it it is kind of, I mean, I guess this is drawing directly from the story, right? Mm -hmm. That yeah. she is, um, she has already been attacked, so she yeah. is weaker. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, were there any other female characters in Dracula? Um, that... So in the in the book, there was Lucy and, and Mina only. Mm -hmm. And what's even great... I think about this game that improves on the book is the fact that Mina and, and Lucy are both basically damsels in distress. First, Lucy gets bitten and then eventually killed. Mm -hmm. And then Mina gets bitten and is in grave danger. And so they have to hunt Dracula down and kill him and before kill him, she right? turns. So she's, yeah. so she's very weak in the book, whereas here she becomes a hunter and that kind of makes her a lot more powerful. And of course she looks awesome, I think. She yeah. seems like she's got a lot more <laughs> strength behind she's her. She's a half vampire. Like that's pretty <laughs> yeah. cool. That is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, because that's that. I actually haven't read the book, but I've seen um like the really really old movie, mm -hmm. and that's that is what I remember from it. Yeah, is that one of one of the women died, and then one of them was just like, come save oh, wasn't me. Wasn't that yeah. one of his wives or whatever? Yeah, died? I think so. Yeah, I'm starting to remember now. Yeah. Yeah, Lucy. Lucy is, um, yeah. He he decides to go to to England for some reason, and he's starting trying to start his corruption with her. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So yeah. well, that's cool. So they they actually did him did kind of bring her into the uh, the forefront a little bit for the what mm -hmm. would you call it, a sequel like board game yeah. sequel to the book. Yeah. Yeah, and she's in action. He, now she's a hero, and her husband, yeah. who used to be the hero of the first book, kind of. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, kind of his sideline, and he gets to stay home with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, because he's not even he's not even one of these characters, right? Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. That's interesting. That's cool. Well, neat. Um, sorry, Laura, did I interrupt you in the in the middle of a thought? No. Okay. No. I'm right. just trying to think if there's anything else I want to add. Yeah, and that's also that's what I was about to ask. Yeah. No, I I like this game. Would would play again. Cool. Five out Glad of seven. To hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, solid, solid rating. Solid rating. Uh, Game face, is this? How many times have you played this now? Uh, this is the first time I played the new edition. Oh, um, cool! So I you played, played the, the you played the old ones? Yeah, I played the second one. I've never played the first one. I um, that was I think they stopped publishing in like in the nineties, and mm -hmm. um, the second edition wow, was the first ago. time I played it, and it was I played it a couple of times. Uh, this one has a lot smoother mechanics um, in. The old version, in the second version, instead of having tickets with different amounts, you would roll a die, and that would determine how oh, far. Oh, I like that oh. better. Really, you I like, like that better? I enjoy a little bit of chaos in games like that, like <laughs> undecided. You're like the exact opposite of Gilly. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh She's my like, God. I had no die rolling ever. The nice thing really? though is that yeah. that's the best part of games. <laughs> it is a little random. Dice. When you draw the tickets. It is it is random. But see, I I like that. But the... then I just get so many freaking yeah. tickets. It doesn't that's matter. True. Like I'd I rather just true, roll yeah. the dice. Yeah, that's true. Get out of here, see, train tickets. To me, I I like I, I fall on the side if I like being able to plan as well. Like, the tickets being random, is I think the one of the only parts that sticks out to me is being kind of weird about the game because yeah. it's like I'm gonna buy a ticket that will get me some distance. But yeah, yeah. Don't I, don't know. Go I can to see. The I can see why. Don't roll the dice. <laughs> don't go to Hamburg. God. Okay. <laughs> so, so what the the theme of of playing cooperative games with uh, Laura is basically do what you want. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm if I'm reading this correctly. Yes. Got yes. it. I'll keep. Oh, that and in we mind. did it my way. <laughs> We won. We did it that your way. And what happened? <laughs> I, I took a vacation in Spain. That's what happened. 
<laughs> okay, and with that, <laughs> I think it's time to uh, to close things down for the night so that uh, Laura can go have some pizza, we can go have some uh, some dinner. And uh, Laura, would you like to give your spiel a second time here? It's so long. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, <coughs> Get ready. Prepare yourselves. I am the co-host on The Core Report, a show that goes live every Tuesday at 9 o'clock. I roleplay on the Prophecy Misclicks Dungeons & Dragons campaign, which you can find here Wednesdays at 8 o'clock. I do another show every other Friday on Pantheon Rise of the Falling. F Rise of the Falling? Wow. that didn't Rise of the Fallen? Something like that. There we go. Uh, just follow my channel. I do stuff. Follow my channel. Follow my Twitter. I'm not doing this. You just you know where to find me i do lots of really cool stuff like That's i'm true. a you want to be my friend i want to be your friend moral of the story take it away awesome. <laughs> so uh in case you missed any of that we'll have it below on the vod in uh on youtube and as as always this has been uh table flipping board games i'm ogre yonder our victorious vampire is game face killer and laura would you like to Flip the table. You know I do. Screw this table. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> See you guys next time. See ya.